What's going on guys, this is Super Charge Venom here and today in this video I'm going to be talking about Forza Horizon 4 Alright, some of you people might know this, some might not But as you guys know about the original for you know, the original Forza, you know, Forza Horizon 1 You know, the first ever one that came out, that came out in 2012 And there's been some sort of pattern going on, you know, with the Forza Horizon games and the Forza Motorsport games I'm going to talk about the Forza Horizon, then the Motorsport, and then put them together. Right, so Forza Horizon 1 came out in 2012. Forza Horizon 2 came out in 2014. There's a two-year difference there. All right, and then Forza Horizon 3 came out in 2016. As you all know, there's a two-year difference between all three games, right? Two-year difference, remember that. Meaning Forza Horizon 4 should come out this year. You know... I've got a feeling, you know, well, I think, personally, yeah, people are saying, yeah, it's not, it is definitely going to come out this game, but there's no proof as of yet, so we're going to have to wait till E3 to hear about this, you know, then I've got a friend who I were talking to just recently saying it will come out this year, but I've got that, there's that slight chance they might break the pattern, so if anything, if it's going to get released, I think it's either going to be released in, um, excuse me, in late September, early October. Right, let's go to the Forza Motorsport games. The first, well, I say first Forza Motorsport, but Forza Motorsport 4 came out in 2011. And I'm only mentioning that, it's because it's a year before the first ever Forza Horizon game. And it was when, um, what's it? Um, I think it was Turn 10, or Playground Games. Yeah, it was Turn 10 that... Um, that wanted to give Forza Horizon, no, not Forza Horizon, um, Forza Motorsport a break. So that's when Playground Games came in and created Forza Horizon, which is an open world game and less on the simulation side. So, for, so bearing, yeah, as I said, Forza Motorsport 4 came out in 2011. Then it was Forza Horizon. Then Forza Motorsport 5 came out in 2013. So 2011, 2013, there's a two year difference there again, isn't there? There's a two-year difference between all of them. And then, after Forza Motorsport 5, Forza Motorsport... No, Forza, Mo Forza Horizon 2 came in. And then Forza Motorsport 6 came in afterwards. Bearing in mind Forza Motorsport... Oh, no, not Forza Motorsport. Forza Horizon 2 came in on um, 2014. Then Forza, Forza Motorsport 6 came in... Uh, um, what was it? 2015, then 2016 it was Forza Horizon 3, then 2017, our most recent Forza game, Forza Motorsport 7. And as you can see, you know, it's been going year after year, so Forza Motorsport, year after Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport 4, year after Forza Horizon, year after that, Forza Motorsport um, 5, year after that, Forza Horizon 2, year after that, Forza Motorsport 6, year after that, Forza Horizon 3, Year after that, Forza Motorsport 7. Meaning, we will be getting Forza Horizon 4. If not, I don't think they would have made another Forza Motorsport game if they weren't going to carry on with the series. Because it's kind of like a pattern going on. Uh, if they don't release it this year, then they're breaking a major pattern. Like, I'm hoping for it to come out this year. And we don't know where it's going to be set. Um, rumours that I have heard where it's going to be set could be UK, Dubai, or Japan. Either one of those three. I'm either hoping the UK... Well, I'm hoping all three. But one that I'm hoping for the most for is Japan. And that's not just because of the Tokyo Drift kind of thing. It's because... Um, well, it kind of is. But, you know, you've got all these... You know, there'd be more... Well, because obviously Japan, obviously you import all your cars and shit from there. Um, it's all JDM cars, meaning it'd be kind... Because um, it's all JDM, meaning you'll have um, a hell of a... You'll have a shit ton of customization. And if, um, you know, Playground Games don't do the customization, then why is it based in Japan? Because we all know cars in Japan are... Well, most of them, people who have the money, have got heavily modified cars because it's all JDM. And we all know JDM cars are highly tunable, you know. 
for instance, the R34, you know, the Toyota Supra, you know, you've got Mitsubishi, and you've got, yeah, we've got all Nissans, you know, they're all JDM cars. You know, imagine how cool it'd be just seeing all the customization you could get. So basically, kind of like, um, you know, like, like the customization that I need for speed, you know, like the wide body kits and all stuff like that. Imagine just being able to pick a series of different wide body kits. I'd love that. But then also in Dubai, that would mostly be supercars. They'd be more supercars than what they would be sports cars or JDM cars. Whereas in the UK, it'd probably be a mixture. Because there's a few people that own supercars and a few people that own sports cars. But the majority of them would be street cars because it's UK. But obviously because it's Forza, they do whatever the fuck they want. But hopefully, if it is going to be based in Japan, I hope there's going to be more customization. because as you guys know from the Forza, from the Forza series, there isn't much customization other than the ones that Forza give you, unless they add in, like, you know, kits and stuff for the car, because there's some cars where you can just go out and just, you know, there's a shit ton of customization, but that's, it's not exactly all of them, like, um, it might, Obviously, if it was based in Japan, imagine you seeing like a wide body, a wide body hurricane fucking drifting past you while you're in online. Imagine how sick that'd be, or even driving it, for instance. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, um, guys. You know about you know the Forza the Forza Horizon Four. So yeah, leave your comments down in the comment section down below down there when you think. Forza Horizon 4 is going to be released and where you think it's going to be based. Put that down in the comment section down below so I know your opinions. So, without, um, please like, hit that like button if you did like this video. And if you are new, hit that big red subscribe button, you know, just down there, you know, when you exit full screen and it's to your right, you know, click that button there. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And I hate my camera. Alright, in a bit guys. Peace.